Hi, welcome to the Bearded Honey Badger. So today uh, we're going to be finishing a carpenter's uh, hatchet. I've got this uh, plum carpenter's hatchet. It's about a hundred years old. We're looking at probably 1917-1918. So first I stripped it with uh, vinegar, gave it a little uh, brush, put an edge back on it. Now uh, we're getting ready to uh, stain the handle. So I took a standard uh, handle and chopped it down. Took about that much off the end. And uh, we're gonna get ready here to stain it. So first things first, we're gonna get our gloves on. So I've already uh, stirred the stain, making sure that we get all the way to the bottom, making sure we get enough of the actual color. Next thing I'm gonna do is Just double check I've got everything stirred in. And I have. Looks pretty good. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of stain. I'm just gonna apply it right to the end of the handle. I'm gonna put a pretty liberal coat on. You can see the grain already starting to come out in that wood. This is American Hickory. It's number three grade, so it's not perfect. It's got a little bit of an angle on the uh, grain. It's not exactly in line with the uh, handle direction, but it's pretty darn good. It's much better than 99% of the uh, products that we find in the uh, big box stores these days. I think for my next few projects, I'm going to um, use some Arbutus that I got locally here. It was a Feln Arbutus tree arm. And uh, let's let that soak for a little bit. Put this lid back on. So uh, while I'm waiting for that, I'll show you what I've got here. So I've got one uh, small piece of Arbutus here that uh, I'm going to clean down, take all the knots out of it, sand it, and I'm going to use that for another hatchet project that you'll see later. I'm also working on a uh, very special project. I went looking in the thrift shop the other day and I found a uh, True Temper Wellen axe head. It's a double bit three pound and it's uh, their top of the line black prince line. So again this axe is about 70 to 75 years old based on the, where the markings are on the uh, axe head and I think uh, it's almost ready to come out of the vinegar now. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit get this nice color soaking in there and we're going to uh, head over here for a second and we're going to take a look at this axe head. Okay so uh, if you want to wait right there, I'll uh, just duck down here. You can see in this bin, I've got this sitting here marinating. So it's not quite ready yet. One last turn on the edge of the fourth blade. I don't have a container that's big enough yet to uh, take the whole thing at one time. So far, this is the biggest axe head I've looked at for refinishing. So. Kind of neat. Uh, another thing I picked up today was uh, a little screwdriver. So it's got a little adjuster on it. It's a uh, left or right hand or static. So you got three settings, and uh, believe it or not, 50 cents. Not a bad deal. So that'll be in my next project. Let's clean that up, and uh, I'm sure I'll find uses around the shop for it. So this is my premiere video. This is uh, me welcoming you to my channel. It's going to cover what you see here, axe refurbishing. It's going to cover um, me going to the range with my friends, uh, shooting our rifles, shooting our pistols, going through drills and procedures, talking about tactics, application, talking about uh, body armor, talking about how to set up your gear so it's effective in the field. Um, I'm also going to uh, do some woodworking and some metalworking. Um, I make uh, custom knives. I have a blank here that's partially done. This is uh, one for my son, he wanted a bush knife. 
and uh, he wanted something that was uh, a little beefier than normal, so that's a partway done project there. But uh, it's going to be basically you following me through some of the things I like to do. We're going to spend some time outdoors, we're going to spend some time hiking, we're going to spend some time going to, like I said, uh, the range, and uh, also hunting. So I'm going to take you on the uh, fall deer hunt that's coming up in September, so we've got a few months to plan for that. But uh, I'm, I'll go through a video also of uh, packing, prep, uh, licenses, all that type of stuff. So uh, this video channel is going to run the gambit of outdoor activities, hobbies. Like I said, we have metalwork, woodwork, axe restoration, custom knife making, kydex work, uh, hunting, shooting, uh, general outdoors, and uh, fly fishing if I can get some more time. So uh, we're going to let this dry, and then uh, I'll get back to you once we're ready to uh, seat this uh, plum axe head on the handle. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you soon.